Hi guys, Melanie here and I'm happy to be bringing you today a video tutorial based on my most popular blog post tutorial on creating a split monogram in Cricut Design Space. I receive questions regarding this blog post tutorial weekly, so I'm hoping that by creating a video tutorial, it can help clear up any gray areas that are in that tutorial. So let's jump on in and get started. First, open up Cricut Design Space and open up a blank canvas like you see here. Come to the left hand side and click the text icon. Cricut Design Space will automatically populate a blank text box here for you to add in your letter. We're going to add in the first letter of the name that you're wanting to create. For instance, my name is Melanie, so I'm going to add an M. And then I usually drag my letter up here to the top and make it larger. This is just so that I can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit more as I'm working with the split monogram and creating it. One quick word about your font choice. If this is your first time creating this split monogram, I recommend sticking with a clean um, font just to start out with. The default font here that shows up is good for that. I also really like Cake Basics, which is another Cricut font. And the reason behind this is once you start using the fancy fonts that have the swooshes and all that, and they may even be a little bit unbalanced, leaning more towards the left or the right, it can be harder to visualize doing the split monogram because the letter can kind of be unbalanced. Not to say that you can't ever use those in the future, but if this is your first time doing it, let's minimize the frustrations by using a cleaner, just simple cut letter like this one. And then you can practice with more difficult fonts later on once you get the hang of it. So once you have your letter, now we're going to go to the left hand panel ag again and click on shapes. Insert a square by clicking on it. Bring the square to the side, and this is just so that you can work with it without it being right on top of the letter. Now click the lock icon on the bottom left. This will allow you to manipulate the square into a rectangle. Pull the square into a skinny rectangle. As far as the width of the rectangle, I usually make mine a little bit larger than one of these grid boxes here. As far as the length, it needs to be a little bit longer than your letter. So pull it back over the letter and then make it a little bit longer. Now this is going to be the line that we're going to split to, to make the split, the split monogram. Um, and as far as the length, it really is up to you. I usually do mine about uh, two grid boxes long, this way lo longer than the width of the letter. But if you like if you like the look of the rectangle longer or you even like it matching up with the letter, then those are all options. But just to start out, this is how I do mine. I make it about uh, two grid boxes or maybe a little bit more longer than the letter. All right, now we want to duplicate this rectangle. Make sure that the rectangle is selected. You can tell this because it will have a blue box around the rectangle and it will also be dark gray over here on the right hand panel. Click the duplicate button and another rectangle will appear. Take this rectangle and pull it over here to the side. We'll come back to it later. All right, go back to the first rectangle and move it around until it's a little bit north of the middle of the letter. If you like precise measurements and you want to use the ruler and the grid to make sure that it's almost exactly in the center of the letter, then that's fine. Or you can eyeball it. I usually just eyeball it. But either way is totally fine. Once you have the line where you want it, then we are going to weld this line and the letter together. Make sure that the rectangle is selected and then hit the shift button on your keyboard and click the letter over here in the right hand panel. The, this square or rectangle should now be selected and also the letter M should be selected. This, you'll know that this was successful because it will bring up these options on the bottom of the right hand panel here. Go ahead and click Weld. 
Cricut Design Space will weld the, the rectangle and the letter together so now they are now one object. Now it's time to come back over here to this second rectangle. Pull the second rectangle over and we are going to place this rectangle so that it covers just the bottom half of the first rectangle. In my blog post tutorial I reference splitting the first rectangle and this is what I mean. Um, that may not be a great way to describe it but you're taking the second rectangle and you don't want to cover up the whole part of that first rectangle. You just want to cover up the bottom half because we're going to everything above this rectangle is going to split from the bottom half. So in order to get this line in the middle and you have this line on the top and the bottom once we split it, we need to split this rectangle in half with the second rectangle. So hopefully you can see that here on the video that the second rectangle here is just over the bottom half of the first. Once you're happy with that, Click the lock icon again to unlock the shape and then drag it down so that it's covering the whole letter. Double check and make sure that your length this way hasn't changed and that you're still covering this whole rectangle up top. And once you're satisfied with the second rectangle, click select all and then come over here to the right hand panel and click slice. Cricut Design Space will now slice the image and you'll have four slice results over here on the right hand panel. We only want to keep two. We only want to keep these um, black ones which are the original letter that we started with so we're going to delete the others. You can click one and then click delete and then click this one and then click delete and now we have the two slice results that you can pull apart and your letter is now split. Line them up so that they are straight and I usually just pick one of these grid lines and line them up to make sure they're right up against the grid. As far as how far apart they should be it just depends on the word that you're placing and how you want it to look. Click text on the left hand side and you can go ahead and add in the full name. And then bring the, the name up and place it in between the letter. And you can of course move it around until it's right where you want it. And there you go. One last thing before you are completely finished is we need to attach all of this together. If it's not attached then it will not cut out exactly like we have it here. So once again come up to the top and click select all. Come to the right hand panel at the bottom, click attach. Now the entire piece is attached and will cut out the way that we have designed it. Before cutting, it's always a great idea to measure your project, even if it's a piece that you have put vinyl on or designed before. There's nothing more frustrating than designing and cutting, and then you go to add the vinyl to your project and realize it's too large or too small. So go ahead and go measure your project, and then come back and resize your letter and your name to fit your project, and then you're good to cut. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys today and I will hopefully be bringing more of these type videos to you soon. Happy crafting guys!